So I tend to spend a lot of time in sheep country and covering a lot of ground. So I'm gonna talk about optics and how important they are. So what I tend to use is I use a Vortex Razor 10 by 42s UHDs. I find that that 10 power binocular is just the perfect, you know, perfect size for me. Some guys like 12s and some guys will even carry 15s, but without a tripod, there's no way I can handhold those. And I spend a lot of time just traveling and, you know, com coming up a valley and wanting to glass a side hill and being able to do it standing with a backpack on, I can't do it with with 12s so 10 is the is the max and a lot of guys will even use eights but the other thing that i always carry is a spotting scope because inevitably you do see something or or think that you see something that looks like a sheep and you need to at miles away and you need to be able to really take a good look at it so i i like the uh 85 and this this is also the Vortex Razor, it's, it's a great scope. Uh, I like the versatility of, you know, I used to use a narrower field of view than 85, and I've changed that up and just gathers a little bit more light and a little bit clearer. So it's, it's kind of a weight thing. I'll, I'll tend to use and not be afraid to have a heavier spotting scope with, a, say, a lighter, uh, 10 power binocular than a, a heavier binocular. So now to go into, you know, kind of really what it is in the mountains to picking apart a mountain while glassing for sheep, I really tend to hit skyline first and then the high percentage areas, which are ridge lines and grassy bowls. Now I hit the skyline first because I'm afraid that if something is up there and is walking away from me, I'll miss it. So if I hit that and tick that box first, then I know that there's nothing on the skyline and I don't have to worry about it, have, it have walked away. And then I go to ridge lines. So those kind of those areas that you think that a sheep could be bedded down where they have a vantage point and they can see what's going on. They often like ridge lines and then they feed down into the bowls uh, where the grass is after they uh, get up out of their bed. So those are kind of high percentage areas that I look at. After that, then it's just picking it apart. Then just I scan the whole mountain and make sure that I haven't left any rock unturned. And I tend to try to scan from right to left because we all grew up reading left to right and our, our natural tendency is to move across a page very quickly and what it does is it slows me down going right to left. It's that not a natural flow of how your eyes move. So that tends to slow me down, which makes me more accurate in what I'm looking at. And even, um, sure, sometimes you're not always, you can't always do that, but nonetheless, if you're thinking about it, just the thought of moving right to left will slow you down and uh, probably allow you to pick more things up in the mountains. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below and do the work.